Summary of Water by the Spoonful by Clara Alegria Hughes In the cafeteria of Swarthmore College in Pennsylvania, Elliot, who is a Puerto Rican-American and a military member who was injured in Iraq, eats breakfast with his cousin Yaz, who is a musician who has recently gone through a divorce. Elliot has asked one of Yaz's fellow professors to translate an Arabic phrase that has been stuck in his head for years. The professor notices that Elliot served in the Marines and wants to become an actor. He gives Elliot the number of a friend who is making a war movie and needs a consultant. When Elliot gets the phone number, the professor tells him that the line means something like, please give me back my passport. Odessa, Elliot's real mother, sits in her living room and logs on to a website for recovering crack addicts. She runs the site under the name Haikumam. Orangutan and Shootsand Ladders, the other two members of the group, also log on. Orangutan hasn't checked in for three months, and now she says she has moved to Japan to teach English. She was born there before she was adopted by Americans. Haiku Mom and Shootsand Ladders are glad because they were worried about Orangutan while she was away, but Orangutan says she finally feels like a normal person and is happy and able to do things. When Elliot works at a subway, he tries to ignore the ghost that keeps showing up and staring at him while repeating the Arabic line that his professor translated. In her class, Yaz is talking about disharmony in jazz. Both of them are told that Elliot's Aunt Mommy Ginny, who he thinks of as his real mother because she raised him, is in the hospital on a breathing machine and about to die. He gets angry at work and breaks a mirror. Yaz comes to get him and take him to the hospital. He goes by the name Fountainhead and is a new member of the group. Fountainhead writes a long, cocky biography about himself as a rich businessman with a nice family and a fancy sports car. He says he's hooked to crack, but he says he's not really an addict because it's just a mental problem for him. He came to the experts to get advice on how to stop smoking crack. When he's done, orangutan and Schutzend ladders make fun of Fountainhead for being cocky, which makes Fountainhead log off without saying anything. Elliot and Yaz go to a flower shop together to avoid their families and choose a funeral arrangement for Mommy Ginny. They are sad about Mommy Ginny's death and worry that the family will not have a strong leader to keep things together without her. While Elliot and Yaz watch the florist work, they think about what a normal life is like, one that isn't full of funerals and arrests. Yaz thinks about how the normal life she made for herself, by getting a job and marrying into a white family, made her feel confused about who she was and even ashamed of her Puerto Rican roots. Elliot tries to get her to stop blaming herself but fails, so they leave after ordering flowers. Orangutan tells Shootsand Ladders on the forum that she feels lonely, empty, and cut off from the world because she doesn't have any real flesh and blood ties. She asks Shootsand Ladders to come visit her in Japan, but he doesn't want to because he's afraid of the unknown and thinks Orangutan will be let down by who he really is. Haikumam hears them talking, though, and tells Shootsand Ladders that he should think about it. Fountainhead comes back and tells the group that he relapsed the day before. He still says that his problem with crack is psychological and not a full-blown physical addiction. But Shootsand Ladders keeps bothering him until Fountainhead finally breaks down and says he's a crackhead. At that point, the group accepts him and is happy with him. John Fountainhead and Odessa, Fountainhead, get coffee together and talk about addiction and recovery. John finally says that he lied at first and has been using crack every day for two years. As they talk, he has an Elliot walk in, mad that Odessa didn't pay for her share of the flowers at Mommy Ginny's funeral. Odessa is acting hostile toward them, which is not like her, and Elliot clearly dislikes her. Even though Yaz and Odessa try to stop him, Elliot tells John that Odessa killed her own daughter and Elliot's sister when they were young because she was too busy using crack to care for them. After John leaves, Odessa tells Yaz and Elliot to sell her computer and use the money to help pay for flowers. When Elliot and Yaz go to Odessa's house to get her computer, Elliot finds the forum open and has a short conversation with Orangutan. Orangutan tells Elliot that she knows he became hooked to painkillers while he was in the military hospital and overdosed three times. Yaz doesn't know this, and she's mad at Elliot for not telling her or letting her help. 
Elliot tells Yez that the ghost started showing up around that time, but when Yez presses him on it, he begs her not to ask him about it again, takes the computer's cords out, and leaves with it. Later, Orangutan and Shootsand Ladders are back on the site to talk. When Orangutan tells Shootsand Ladders that she is going to try to meet her real mother, Shootsand Ladders tells her not to. He does this by talking about how his son rejected him and how painful it was for him, as well as his drug relapse. Not being excited about Shootsand Ladders irritates and angers Orangutan, who just wants to live a real life. She is so mad that she says she will never talk to Shoot Sand Ladders again and that she will still look for her real mother. Shoot Sand Ladders was so mad when she logged off that he trashed his office at work. Even though she wants to get on the train to find her mother, Orangutan can't bring herself to. She falls asleep on the station. Shoot Sand Ladders sells his car at the same time to pay for a plane ticket to Japan. The funeral for Mommy Ginny is led by Yaz and Elliot. Soon after, they can't get in touch with Odessa, so they break down her front door and find her passed out on the floor, having overdosed. This was her first time using crack again after six years of abstinence. Elliot is so mad that he's almost ready to leave. While they wait for the ambulance, Yaz holds Odessa's body and has a short vision of Odessa floating in a beam of light coming down from above. In her dream, she tells Odessa that she can die if she has to and tells Elliot that he needs to forgive his real mother. When Orangutan comes back to the site after three days of being away, Schutzend Ladders is already there waiting for her. After not having the guts to get on the train, she feels like a failure. But when Schutzend Ladders tells her that he is going to visit her in Japan in a few days, she quickly feels better. Even though they are talking happily, Fountainhead logs on from a hospital computer and tells them that Haiku Mom overdosed. He is with her in the hospital because she made him her emergency contact and none of her family has shown up. Fountainhead promises Shoot Sand Ladders that he will stay with Odessa until she is out of the hospital and safely in rehab. From a hotel room in Puerto Rico, where she and Elliot are going to spread Mommy Ginny's ashes, he has posts on the forum to describe herself and ask if she can take over for Haiku Mom. Elliot doesn't like that she's even on the group, but they decide quickly to go to the waterfall where Mommy Ginny asked to be buried. To make a phone call, Yaz goes to the hotel entrance. As soon as she leaves, the ghost shows up. Elliot doesn't ignore it, instead, he fights it, wrestling with it until the ghost gets his wallet, which he then looks through quickly. When the ghost can't find what he's looking for, he touches Elliot's face, which stops him in his tracks, and looks at every part of his face in a gentle but sure way. John helps Odessa take a bath and gets her ready to go to rehab in her bathroom. Orangutan and Schutzend Ladders meet for the first time in person at a Japanese airport. They hug and tell each other their real names. It is in Puerto Rico that Yaz and Elliot throw Mommy Ginny's ashes over the waterfall. Elliot finds out from Yaz that she has chosen to buy Mommy Ginny's house, move back to their old neighborhood, become the new head of the family, and keep the community together. Elliot, meanwhile, has chosen to leave their family and its bad habits and follow his dream of becoming an actor by moving to Los Angeles. About the author. Kaira Alegria Huds was born in 1977 in Philadelphia. Huds was raised in a Puerto Rican home, even though her real father was Jewish. Her mother and stepfather are both Puerto Rican. Huds began writing and composing music when he was very young. He learned to play the piano at a nearby settlement music school branch, then music composition at Yale University, and finally playwriting at Brown University. She is now a visiting professor at Wesleyan University in Connecticut and has written plays, musicals, and children's books since then. However, she is best known for writing plays. Yamaya's Belly, her first book that did well, came out in 2003 and won several awards. It was put on stage for the first time in 2004. The first part of the Elliot trilogy, Elliot, A Soldier's Fugue, came out in 2006 and was a nominee for the Pulitzer Prize in 2007. Huds later worked with Lin-Manuel Miranda, a famous writer and actor from Puerto Rico, to produce the children's musical Barrio GRRRL and the Broadway musical In the Heights, which won the 2008 Tony Award for Best Musical. 
both plays were also in the running for the Pulitzer Prize. Huds got her first Pulitzer Prize in 2012 for Water by the Spoonful, which was about the soldier Elliot and was the second book in a trilogy. The Happiest Song Plays Last, which came out in 2013, was the last book in the trilogy. As of now, Huds is still writing plays, music, and even movie plots. Miss You Like Hell is her most recent play. The LA Times called it an immigration musical for the new Trump era. Huds lives with her husband and kids in New York. Hope we summarized it fully and you liked it. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so that we are motivated to create more videos.